Hello there, my beautiful Cancers, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Mitchie Stay. Cancer, we are looking into this week of August 9th to the 15th. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Cancer, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Cancers out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So Cancer, let's get started. We are going to be getting you a number for you for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. So let's see Spirit for Cancer. All right, Cancer, you have card number 12. I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. All right, Cancer, maybe you were born on the 12th. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But you are definitely feeling very creative this week. Um, you're definitely sitting in your imagination state, feeling very intuitive connecting with others as well as connecting with your needs and wants. So let's see what your tarot, I mean your tarot, your moonology is for my beautiful Cancers for this week, Spirit, for Cancer. All right, Cancer, we have the full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Beautiful Cancer. So for a lot of you, you definitely could have been struggling in a certain aspect of your life, possibly multiple aspects of your life, work, family, friends, love. And that is finally coming to an end with this full moon in Capricorn. You have prevailed. You have made it through. And it is finally time for you to have fresh, new, abundant, and uplifting energy. So Spirit is definitely highlighting that your recent energies and your recent cycles have been hard on you here cancer and it's showing that there's going to be a little bit of alleviated energy on that so we love to see that Let's see what your unicorn is cancer we have wishes card 35 be careful what you wish for as one wish will be granted all right, Cancer, so a wish is going to be granted for you this week. Very interesting. I mean, paired up with this full moon in Capricorn, I definitely feel like this is something that has taken a very long time coming, but something that you have been wishing for is being granted for you, Cancer. Some of you may have been wishing for a tough cycle to end, right? Some of you may have a very specific wish. But let's see what your astrology is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, let's see your astrology for this week, Cancer. Underneath your 12, we have Gemini, duality, curious, and social. Definitely a lot of talking and socializing for you this week. Full moon in Capricorn with Saturn, Capricorn's ruler. Wow. So, you have been struggling. Y'all have really been struggling. Control, responsibility, structure, realism, and discipline. Wow, for Saturn to come under there, a big struggle is ending. A big struggle. Wow, I love this for you here. Underneath wishes, we have Virgo. Ritualist, critical, and discerning. All right, so there is something happening for you, and I feel like whatever wish is coming for you with the Virgo com uh, coming underneath the wishes... There's something new in your daily life. 
or something new will be coming into your daily life. There is something that is going to be part of your routine now. So maybe a lover, maybe a friend, maybe a new work schedule, maybe a new job in general. But Cancer, there is something new that's going to be a part of your daily routine or your weekly routine with Virgo coming in. But this is something that you have been wishing for. So you have been wishing for maybe your lover is making more time for you or you're starting to put your lover into your daily routine. Possibly there is a new hobby or habit you are picking up or there is an energy of um, a new job, more money, a new friend. Let's get some tarot on this. So Spirit, can you please clarify this here for Cancer for this week? All right, underneath Gemini, we have the Two of Cups. All right, so for some of you, this definitely has to do with a connection here, a lover or a friend. For a lot of you, a lover. Underneath Saturn, we have the Chariot. Here you are, Cancer. Look at you. You're ready. You're like, I'm going to jump in my Chariot, and I'm going to get away from this tough cycle because I'm over it. So for a lot of you Cancers, definitely coming together with a lover in a new way, a new lover. Nonetheless, you are coupling up with someone this week and you're ready for it. You're with, with the chariot coming on this double Saturn energy with this strong Capricorn coming in, you're ready to release that cycle. And I know this, I know this reading is going to be good. I just, I just feel it in my body that these cards are going to be good. Virgo, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. There you go. Like I said, it's going to be good. So, none of, okay, so Cancer, somebody is either putting you into their daily life, whether it's a friend or a lover. Maybe there is somebody around you. Okay, the gist of this is somebody is deciding, Cancer, you're the person I want to pursue, whether start a friendship with or start a relationship with. I want to move forward. I want to put work on this. I want to make time for you in my daily life. I want to have you a part of my schedule. Like you're you're really moving forward with somebody here and the wish that is being granted is somebody putting effort into you with this 8 of pentacles. Somebody putting real effort in, stable effort. Somebody who is reliable, somebody is responsible. Like maybe you dealt with a lot of friends who were very unreliable. Maybe they made up plans and didn't follow through. Or they were just like all over the place. For some of you, you could have dealt with a lover this way. Um, very unreliable, not really putting work into you, not really caring. And now you have somebody here, whether it's that same person or a new person, putting effort into this connection. The Two of Cups, wanting to couple up with you, wanting to truly be in your energy. And with the Chariot here, Cancer, that is your energy. And the fact that it came on Saturn and the full moon in Capricorn is huge. Because it's showing you're ready for this. You're ready for this friendship. You're ready for this relationship. And you're ready for somebody who's actually going to put work into you. Who's actually going to reciprocate you. Who's actually going to be stable. So let's clarify this here for you, Cancer. So a lot of you have been struggling with love or with friends for a long time. And things are getting beautifully better. So let's clarify this once more. And then we will get some um, cards on love specifically. Strong Earth here as well. On the Two of Cups, we have the Two of Swords. There you go. Two, two. Making that decision to couple up. Making that decision to be in this friendship. So... You are really saying to yourself, like, you're ready. For some of you, somebody is deciding they want to be with you here. Two, two, definitely, um, definitely this could be about love, for sure. I'm steering more towards love for some of you. Yes, this could be a platonic friendship. The chariot with the wheel of fortune. I told you the cards are going to be good. The wheel of fortune here, ruled by Jupiter lucky energy you're ready for this you're ready for this lucky change cancer eight of pentacles the devil 
There you go. So I definitely do feel like the fact that you have such strong Capricorn energy. The, the Capricorn energy is coming through crazy. And Capricorn is your... What's it word? Your sister sign. Capricorn is your um, complete opposite. So... Cancer, you, you know, I don't look at the devil as being a bad card in this position because it's linked to the eight of pentacles. You're finally dealing with somebody who is persistent, somebody who is determined to make a connection work, somebody who is not going to create toxicity for you. Yes, with the devil here, um, there could, with the eight of pentacles, there could be extreme, extremely strong sexual attraction between the two of you. And for some of you Cancers as well, you know, we do have the Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, this very strong Capricorn energy. You know, for some of you Cancers, you're working on releasing fears and doubts with this new person. The Eight of Pentacles to the Devil is not a bad combination. It shows pers persistence. It shows determination. And it also shows a sense of working on fears working on doubts, working on codependent energy so you can feel more just healthy in a connection. So, Cancer, this is really beautiful. You're moving forward with a connection and you're you're not looking back any longer. You're ready. The tough cycle is ending. The struggle is over. You're finally dealing with somebody who is persistent, determined, responsible, and reliable. So let's clarify this here. Let's get some... I do feel like this is about love. So this may just kind of give us more insight into the messages I already said. For some of you, definitely having to do with a friend that is very helpful for you now. They may be very helpful for you in work. Maybe they help you find a new job or they help you release fears, but this person is so just making you a part of their daily life as well as you doing that for them. And I feel like you've been wanting this, Cancer. So let's see, Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I don't take flyers and I definitely don't take five card flyers. Um, for this week for Cancer. Okay, we have here healing. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have cycles. Wow, and this position came up on the part that says... An end of a tough cycle is approaching. Wheel of Fortune here, which is the cycle's card. Y'all, things are changing in an extremely beautiful way for you here. And I do, I feel like this is about love. I do. And we have conclusion. Wow, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Cycles, conclusion, healing, cancer. I can't. This is crazy the way these cards come out. I swear. Let's clarify this one more time. Wow. Cancer, you are closing the door to the past and you're locking it with the key. And you're saying, this person here, this new friend, this lover, whoever this person is, is the one that is going to help me feel centered. Help me feel like all is well and I'm not going crazy. And the past didn't make me feel this and that and... Wow. So let's see, Cancer. Let's clarify this one more time. On healing, we have vibrations no way. Cancer. These two cards are like the only two very high vibrational cards in the deck, and you got both of them on top of one another. That you've, you've been wishing for a friend like this or a lover like this. For sure. Cycles with Observer. Yep, you two are very curious about one another. You two are very, um, you want to learn from one another. You two definitely could be um, a little bit watching each other on social media, you know, looking at each other's pages, stuff like that. Um, wanting to know what each other's up to and conclusion with Bound. Y'all, putting an end to the toxicity putting an end there's a there's that devil there's that capricorn energy coming in again putting an end to doubt 
fears, all of that. Wow. And I told you, the devil and the eight of pentacles is not a bad combination. The devil is not always a bad card. With this, with this lover and this friend or this friend, you're working on the toxicity. You're working on all of the crap that this tough cycle puts you through. So let's clarify this one more time just because of how... I, I just cannot believe these cards are just so amazing. So let's clarify one more time here for you, Cancer, and then we'll close this reading. On vibrations, we have third party beautiful for some of you you may have been very tied to codependency and a fear of third party energy observer with received so you two know you know this person is curious about you either they have told you or you kind of have picked up on it already and forgiveness look at that so, Cancer, you're really forgiving yourself for all that you put yourself through. For some of you Cancers, you may have actually put yourself in a third-party position and you knew that they had another person. Whoever this person is not, whoever this person is now is not like the past. You put an end to that. This person is helping you vibrate higher through that. And you two are really just coming together in a beautiful way. So, um, for some of you, you meet this person through another person so you may meet this person out doing something or you have met this person out doing something so with third party here yes some of you cancers you voluntarily put yourself in a third party with love and you knew that there was another person and you're finally vibrating higher away from that for others of you cancers um meeting this new lover and new friends comes with third party not that they have baggage it's that you either meet them through work, you may meet them through going out. Maybe you actually have to go out to a bar, to a party, to a festival, to a celebration to meet this person. Like there's a third energy that helps bring you two together. So maybe you meet them from a friend, maybe you meet them from wherever, but there is a secondary energy that brings you and this person together. And with third party coming in, I don't necessarily feel like it's social media. I feel like it's an actual place or an actual person that brings you and this person together. So, Cancer, you're definitely forgiving yourself from all the crap that you voluntarily put yourself through. And I really feel like you're concluding out a lot of toxic energy, a lot of codependent energy as well. And this new lover or friend is really all you've been wishing for. So, beautiful reading, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to like the video and have a great week. Bye now.